Hey yo guys, welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial. Today I want to go and show you how you can create the US movie poster in Photoshop. You enjoy everything you need is in the description like the fonts I used, the pictures you need to do by yourself, but we're doing the tears, we're doing the eyes, we're doing the face. I think it's pretty good and let's go and start. All right, okay, first what you should do is go create a project. I did file new and then he get, gives you this all these options. I choose A4 and then I got this white one and also I choose already my pictures. This uh, photo here, it's uh, the first one is the right face. I'm not sure if I should use this one or already this one so I could use it as mask with the hand already. So and here we have the other face. Uh, what I made a mistake when I took the pictures you see I look in the same direction. So make sure when you go and making um, these other faces the right face it, you look more to this side. Let's go and set this up shall we go and size them up be like i think this is good you do the background black don't worry the background we just work on that then later all right so what i want to do is now the color correction so for that i get all of the pictures on and then then go to create a new adjustment layer and we go to first of all hue and saturation and brightness and contrast so open this and brightness and contrast i want to go and get more light into uh, into the shirt go and drag this up like that so you know um the head is very um colorful now so go onto the uh, layer mask here and then choose the brush black and we go in here and remove all this now all these colors out of this here we go okay we got this the same we do with the brightness and contrast so we'll go just get the contrast up here go over here get some of this out go and get the opacity a bit down so we still can work on that we should go and play around with the faces this one is maybe the right face i'm not sure I think I will use the second one here. So we'll cut out the hand and the face. For that I select the pen tool and then I will go over dot somewhere here. So let's go over here and now I should go and have a look that I get the hand in it too. All right, now I select everything and I will go to path and then we have now the bug path. So this path here. So what I will do, I will go and name this right face, right click on the path and go to make selection. 0 0.2 pixels. So we go back to this one and hit Ctrl J to make a copy. So what I will go now is get it like rotated by Ctrl T, that kind of thingy. We need to remove some of these two. I want to line it up with, with the other hand would be cool. This could work maybe make it a bit bigger maybe like that for now i will do it like that I need to work on my hair here and maybe make everything a bit better i will go select the patch tool and go and get everything looking good like here the hair remove the hair all right uh, sometimes you need to use the healing brush tool to correct something so select the part you want to replace and then all right, it's not that perfect yet, but I'm work on it. What I want to do is now get rid of the eyes here. Also, I want to have a look for the eyebrow. It seems to be damaged on the original. You can see here it's uh, black eyebrows and here it's light ones. Also, have a look now for that this eye is looking through this eye. This pupil is looking through this eye. Oh my goodness. I will cut out now the eyes here. This is pretty easy. Go to the pen tool and go and cut this out here all right now we made two selections we go to work path again and we can go and call this eyes go to and right click make selection yes so we have both selections go to selection and inverse and then go create a layer mask so oh my goodness so also we can go now work so with a black brush a small one and go over here go over the edges or something so we can go over the edges now so maybe set the hardness to 50 and a bit of the size you need to have a look by yourself 
and then go, go a bit over the edges here make it a bit round and not so edgy also you can remove some of the pixel here oh we are pretty almost good with the eye up there with the pupil well okay i need to say this is looking okay could be better but don't worry we will we'll work on it so what we could do now double click to layer the layer styles and then we already could go and set a drop shadow so it doesn't look that bad up also go and get a inner shadow so now go drag the size um of the inner shadow up creepy looking so i think this is looking okay we still need to work on that but let's have a look if we can go and um line these hands up now so for that i will go and set here the opacity a bit down and let's see i think i have a little solution what i will do i remove this hand here getting a bit of this picture in here you'll get the pen tool again and get over somewhere here right click make selection Control j and now I'll line it up with the bottom with the with the left face okay i think this is pretty good so let's go and run this up with with a layer mask and la again with a pen tool black it was a brush i mean and get rid of this um edges here so so here we could go and use um some some black paint here but Go inside and remove some of that. All right, now we got this. Um, now let's see if we can fix this finger here and the original here. Now let's highlight that and go and get some black paint over it. There you go. It's gone. There was no finger. Never, ever. So let's go and open this one. Drag this layer above the hand. OMG looking really good also we can see a bit of the um eye let's see maybe we can move this a bit up here so maybe like that this is looking really good let's go remove this uh fake hands here um we go to the to the let's call it left face and then we go to the patch tool again and we go over here see if we can remove that and get it over here almost 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 Okay, now I select this with the content aware tool and then I drag it out and now it should go and go to enter. Now we replace a bit of it. So now I still have this on the top, but we can still delete that. So let's go and, go and get this face again. So this is looking good. So I'm still leave the bottom here because maybe I need still to adjust this. So let's go and round up this corners, also make it a bit darker and a bit brighter and yeah so let's go here and then get the br get the brush again and black and also go to the half some of this. so let's go over the corners here so what i will do now is make it here a bit less face now all right so i got this now i rounded up all of these edges a bit here also i see here it's a little bit edgy so work on that also make it here a bit really less so it's looking like looking a bit from the side so all right so what i will do now is the eyebrow um brighter and just a bit dark i think also i want to make this uh white spot here a bit more round also remove this white spot here and go a bit a bit red wines in here and the tear okay first go and get the dodge tool to make a bit brighter eyebrows here so go to the original on the left face and get a bit over <laughs> go and switch around here between the shadows midtones and highlights so let's go shadows it looks okay maybe go play around with the exposure too there you go it looks okay it's it's okay i think so go and get here and go over to here and choose the burn tool here go get the size of a brush like this and let's go and use the midtones it's always the best oh oh and uh, select the right layer here right face like and you go and get it on and off 
I'll get over here. So like that. This, I think this is looking all good. Over the edges with the burn to two. And go over here at the edge. Over the edges. Shadows and get the opacity down. This is looking good, guys. You need to play around with that, with the midtones, and you can also go and do this with your uh, with your left face and go over a bit here, so it's creating a kind of like shadow ish here. Saturation we can work later. The shirt maybe a bit darker here. Maybe this is a bit too much here, but who cares? Nobody will see my, my ear. Well, for now, let's go and work on the eyes. Edge tool again. And we are go on the left first. Remove this one here. It's it's okay, I think. Well, let's go. It's looking okay, I think. So let's go round this a bit up here. So get the brush up. No, let's go and get the color of the pu pupil. And then turn this into blackness. Round this a bit up. It's looking okay. So the same we do on this side here. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's go do the red eye strings here. So for that we go use a reddish color here like, like that. Get a small, small brush like maybe one pixel. Opacity a bit down and then we could go over here. Go get a new layer. Click here. And now we can start painting. So like that. So get a bit red in here. It's it's looking okay. So do the other side here too. Like that. And now we could go and just the blending mode to darken maybe or to whatever you want, like multiply and then set the opacity a bit down like that. Well also what we could do go to filter and then blur and Gaussian blur set is to uh, set it to zero point four or whatever and then play around with that. You can always go and paint some more lines. So maybe go get some two pixel ones. I think two pixel looks so much better. Le get a bit less opacity here. So this is looking good. So Okay, now make the the tears. So go to the left face, click on new layer, the brush tool and black paint. That's okay, I think. So let's make a tear. So maybe the tear stops somewhere here. Like that. Okay, now we got this tear. So we could set the screen, uh, the mode to screen. So you don't see the um, teardrop anymore. So double click. And open the layer styles and we go to drop shadow. There you see the tier. And let's see what we can change. Okay, let's see. We can go let's uh, like that. And then let's uh, distance maybe a bit spread down. So let's see the so like that. Maybe you, you just see a little uh, very bit here. Um, now let's go to the inner shadow and in here we set the opacity a bit down, like whatever, 12. Let's go to the distance and set the size down like that. Looks okay, I think. So let's go to bevel and embers. Down, I think, like 74, it's okay. And we set the size down to, let's say... Five is pretty good, okay. And in here we use a global light and set this to like around 50, 56, yeah. But the gloss contour we go and set to the third one here. Then we set the highlight mode to, let's say, screen. And the shadow mode to lighten. Get this to black. Oh, this looking good. Let's see, I set this uh, highlight mode opacity up and then set it like that. I think this is looking good, guys. So keep it like that. And then what we could go and do is with a less opacity and a faded more brush. So I got now a bit of a tier about 13 and set the opacity like maybe to 80. You need to play around with that. So till it looks like tier. 
Uh, not that much. I need to play around with the Babylon Embers here. Okay, now I changed it to the angle of minus 14. So you need to play around with this angle one here. It's really difficult to get. So till you can see here a white line. So what I will do now, I will go remove this one again. And go and set the opacity of the brush even more down. So let's say 60 and start with a brush of like 50 maybe. So you can make always the tear a bit wider here. There you go. So what you could do now, you could go also play around with the brush tool, uh, with the eraser tool. And go and get a small one and then go and get rid of the side a bit here and here. So it's not that even looking ish. There you go. Oh, let's see. No tear. Tear. Maybe I should do a separate tutorial about it. So let's, this is a bit too much here. So let's this tear here. It's looking too real a bit. Now let's set the opacity a bit down. 85. You can always go add some more tears with a black uh, with black brush. So like this. And you could go over here. But I could go and get some water into the eyes, you guys. So this is looking too good. <laughs> so let's go and set play around with the opacity here. Like you want to a bit more here. Like it's like dripping in here and then dripping down. So this is good. Alright, uh let's see here a bit more maybe. It's that's cool. So Let's go and get some more here. Maybe we can get some here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is looking good. Okay, so we are almost done. What we could do now is and go get the background. So you can see now here it's really reddish and the background is gray. Also here my hand. So let's go do this. Go to your um, end one here. So cut this off like that and we get the background like with the left face again and you could uh, go and use the pen tool or the razor let's go use the razor one good so remove it remove it remove it this and this matched so what i will do is go and go over everything here we already had this hue and saturation one, but we need another one. Go over there and get the hue and saturation and set it to zero. What I will do now is I go get the brush again, black and a bigger one. And we'll go over everything I want to light lit up. Shirt, you know, my shirt. I want to have it red. So let's go and get this corners a bit less. So I will show you now. So let's do this. All right. Now what we do is set the opacity a bit down and get over the edges here. So just a shirt now. Later we go over the other stuff. This is looking okay. Now we go and set the opacity a bit more down and we go over the faces. Also hold when you uh, paint it. If you just go and stop holding the mouse and start again, the opacity goes over again. So you have two spots. So it's lit up again. So it's doubled. All right, that's pretty good. Now let's go over. Huh. See, I made the mistake. Now we go over the faces again. Maybe with a bigger brush. And maybe set the opacity a bit more down. And let's go over the pieces here again. Get them. All right, we got that. Make a smaller brush and then we can go and zoom in. Get the eyes for sure, 100%. Maybe the tears, a bit of the... Oh, the eyes are very important. You see, this is really um, not saturated the hair and stuff. 
what we do now is go and set the make a vignette so a new layer and get a black brush a big one and we go over uh yeah the the ear and the hair so it's almost you can see almost see nothing anymore so we are at 30 now let's 20 25 so let's go over here We're almost done. What we what I want to do is now get a bit make it up all a bit darker. Go to adjustment layers and go to go to curves. A bit faded look, so we drag by the curves, the black a bit higher. Like that. That's looking good. Get this over everything. So and we are almost done. Alright, on in the end you see my face is very lit up all right now we still have this layer brightness and contrast what i will do here is just go and set the brightness a bit down maybe like that go on the layer mask here get the brush again the black one and then we go over the um shirt and stuff so it's still lit up make this a bit smaller and now let's go uh, get everything in a group, not the back, not the black background. And now we have the black background and the whole picture. Let's go and hit V and drag the group a bit higher here. Okay, now what I will do is go and drag this a bit higher. So, guys, this is not like the original picture could turn out. So let's get this a bit higher, higher, higher. So make sure you have enough space down below. But I will crop this here. And also what I want to do is go to the group and I go to new adjustment layer and I go to photo filter. Get some orange one and get rid of the preserve luminosity and go and drag this a bit higher like, like you want. Like this one maybe. I think it looks pretty good. Now I got two fonts. So now we are looking at the, uh, the original photo here. And you can see what it's saying here. Okay, so like this and now I got two fonts. Well, I'll click on here for the text and then go and write a new nightmare from the mind of blah blah, blah. So call it here to white. All right, and then you open here the properties. If you can find them, go to a window and then select properties. And in here we have the fonts and I have two or three fonts. I have one that's called type wheel. Link in the description. It's a free font. Okay, so we got the first one. So let's go get this in the middle somewhere here. And now let's go get a new one. Casey Director. Alright, so I got the top one here now. And what I will do now and get the us. So new text layer and press a big S and a small S. It's right now very small here, so don't worry. I got a font that's called Rachella script yeah so let's go get the s make this maybe a smaller like maybe like that Control t to make it bigger so what i will do now is uh i will go and get rid of a bit of that so i need to go and rasterize type and then get the eraser tool and erase a bit of this s part here so let's let's go and get this like that and then also the connection to the u a bit what i will do to get the weird swirl here i will go and duplicate this layer and Control t for the rotation tool and then i rotate it just a bit and get it maybe maybe a bit higher like and drag it like around and yeah, so also what I could do, con hold control and click into the picture to select everything. And then select, go to modify and contract. So I did now two and then I'll go to select, inverse and delete. So now it's everything that's smaller. So now you can click everywhere you want and drag the copy layer underneath. You can go and use the font from the top if you want. So as 
The third font, I got Time to Roam and it's on every PC, I think. Yeah. Here I go and make it smaller. Out now. <laughs> because it's already online, so. So I can make the us a bit bigger again. Maybe we can go merge the layers from the us and double click. And then we go to Drop Shadow. Like that. Just a bit so. There we go. So you see right now I have here some more space than here. Uh, so we we'll crop this a bit I think. Okay, this is looking good. Uh, I see right now on the eyes. So on the white here on the eyes it should be more brighter. So go to the photo filter. So go to the photo filter and then go to the um, to the layer mask. Get the brush black and so on you know already how it works i think i would do the whole eye thing stands out i think it's pretty okay i hope you enjoyed it i really appreciate that like comment and if you haven't subscribed subscribe for don't forget to click the notification bell if you have any requests for any after effects photoshop or other software tutorials let me know down in the comments or write me a message or contact me on twitter whatever you like and i will see you next time hopefully bye bye